Oh boy. Oh boy, Ole. Today's episode, Ole. Ole. Hannah, Hannah, go get him, Hannah, because. Oh boy. Oh boy. Go with Hannah. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London. First off, welcome back, Homo sapiens. (laughs) <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Fun fact, you are a homo sapien. Another fun fact, this is not a podcast. Fun fact of the day, however, is today, what day is it? November 5th is the day today I became a Drake fan. Honestly, I'm not going to say I hated Drake. I'm not going to say that. A couple years ago, I dropped a diss, but I was just trying to get famous. It is what it is. I'm honest about it. I never had ill will towards Drake. And I'm not saying this to get on Drake's good side, because Lord knows I'm, I'm good without it. But I say the truth. The reason you come and watch me is because, you know, I never disappoint you. I say what needs to be said. Lord has blessed me to become a, a, a back chaser and not need to rely on a, like the guys I mentioned in the Bill C-11 video, which if you're a Canadian creator or not, just go watch it. They want, to, they want us to be Canadian enough now, huh? <laughs> they want me to start the video like this. And conform and be like, uh, hey, hello, welcome to my video. Oi, you want some maple syrup, eh? Eh? Get the. So, yeah, fun fact today I became a Canadian art, uh, Canadian art, a Drake fan. Growing up, I wasn't into his stuff. I liked some, but I wasn't a fan of him. Because I always felt like, that's, that's just what I felt like, I'm being honest. Uh, 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 that he was, um, I want to say not genuine, but you know, it wasn't. It wasn't coming from a place of hate. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I felt like he was just, um, and people who liked him were always just writing the D, trying to get something out of it. My view changed a little bit because uh, today he fought the good fight. You know what? Respect. You know how you GTA San Andreas mission passed plus respect. He got my respect today. I'll tell you this. He fought the fight that I thought I was fighting alone, you know, because even academics and them, academics is industry now, right? So he can't say certain stuff. It is what it is. I'm not, I didn't, I didn't, (laughs) I didn't join the Illuminati until I get my official invite and do my rituals with you guys. I'm I'm just doing me, bruh. Okay. No one hit me up. Y'all just hit the people who copy my style. Okay. No problem. But today I got some stuff. And you know, <laughs> I bet you academics is having a great day today. We gonna get into it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And for the stupid B word. Stupid B word. Let me tell you this. I was on Instagram, and I show love usually. If you know me personally, you know I'm. I've always been the type of guy to show love to the little guy, no matter how big I get. My ego is not affected. I always, um, I'm not threatened by it. I always, you know, the, the little bros. I, I'm not a old, old school hater like some of these old heads that hated on me and try to sink my ship. Never been that. I always took them under my wing, mentored them, 
and supported them. This is why I got so far. This is why I'm I'm popular with the kids. You're not. <laughs> you're just the, the old, old, old head hater. Stay that way. And the girl, I didn't even know her. I just walked in a, in a random lab. I tried to even reconnect with an old friend that was there. It was like three people. He, he thought he's too Hollywood on some sour, passive aggressive, won't even follow back. I'm trying to show love. I came in just saying what's up, weighing in, joking. She see my name with the blue tech. Maybe it rubbed her the wrong way. She looked like she hit the pipe. You know what I'm talking about. I should have put it on Do Not Disturb because I'm getting calls and stuff. Anyway, what was I saying? She tried to say, oh, yeah, you the guy that, 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 that trying to be like ac- academics. Listen, I had the name AK Debris since I was 14 years old before academics came up. Watch my video on drill. I, was, I explained how I was a YouTuber then and I helped create the drill movement around Chief Keith blowing up and the era previous Soldier Boy days. I had the name AK Debris before you knew how to. What debris was. <laughs> I had the name since I lived in Saudi Arabia. What are you talking about? The reason I say, holla, isn't because of academics, even though I, I look up to academics because he was active when I, from YouTube when I was there. The only difference was he showed his face. I did it strictly for money and to upload. Talked about it. Go watch that video, the drill one. How I said drill. And I helped create the movement. And that's here, that's here, not here, not there. I'm not trying to be academics. When I say holy, holy or holy, that's a Toronto slang, Canada slang. And I live in Canada for the past, what? I'm basically Canadian now, right? So, right? So holy, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's. If anyone, if you're not Canadian and you say holy, then I question it. Even Drake says holy. He said it to Jeff Bezos. Oh, I'm not joking. Jeff Bezos commented on his thing. He was like, uh, some like, and we made it or something like that. He posted his lyrics in the comments. Jeff Bezos, yep, Amazon founder. And Drake responded, it was like champagne poppy. Hole, is that <laughs> Jeff in my comments? So I'm, I'm Drake. I'm starting to like, dude. Okay, I'll be honest. Today though, I'm a fan of you. I could say that because I'll tell you what. Let's get right into it, guys. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's just get to it. So Drake. <laughs> Oh my God, oh my God. Let me get my laptop closed. Holly. Turn the Wi Fi off. I don't need no interruptions. So, Drake on his song, Circo Loco, off his new album, I haven't listened to it. I'm a fan, and I haven't listened to it. Yes, I'm just a new fan. Oh boy, oh boy, let's get into it, guys, shall we? Whew. This is the lyrics that, that um, got the world triggered today. This bee lied about getting shot, but she's still Italian. She don't even get the joke, but she's still smiling. Oh, lad. look at Drake smiling. That, that's a, whoever put. Yo, say tease, you're crazy for that pick, huh? Oh, I just became a Drake fan. Straight up, I'll tell you this, because I made a, I don't know if Drake watched me, or he watched academics, or he's standing up for Tory, or he's just a good dude. He's a dude with a with a with a with a or he's like me, he he's a warrior, he fights the good fight. I don't know. Or according to a new theory, unconfirmed. Apparently, it's a it's a reference to BBLs that Megan Thee Stallion, right? But um, there's a saying in Arabic. It said, "It says I'll just translate it. It says, 
اللي على راسه بطحة يحسس عليها it means if you have a bald spot in your head you touch it basically what it means is if the shoe fits like okay let's say like this right let's say you're my best friend but you're I consider you my best friend you're supposed to be but you're a fake friend and you have intentions of or you done some fake ish let's say for example hypothetically and i make a post a post on my story talking but watch out for them fake friends it's worse to, it's better to have a fake a, a enemy than a fake friend just a post i share it like a meme right if you're not a fake friend it shouldn't upset you right but if if somebody come out if that friend come out the blue what do you mean by this how did i Hey, listen. Why? Why are you upset? Are you a fake friend? Actions speak louder than words. Anyway, that's not a good enough. Um, so don't go losing it on people who, because uh, some people, okay, you know what I mean. Some people lose it for, for feel offended because maybe you like don't go calling out people who are good to you for that. For nothing, okay. That's what I'm trying to say. But some cases, you might be like, "Hey, man, I would never steal." And somebody come up the blue, talking about what you mean, hey, yo, shit, that person steals. Like, uh, why are you offended? The only person who get offended is, you know what I'm saying? So who got offended by Drake's uh, 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 lyrics today? Okay. I mean, he did say stallion. Okay, he should have said horse because the stallion, or should I say, like her Instagram username, the stallion, right? AKA Megan the stallion, <laughs> AKA Megan the mule, AKA Megan the horse. Should have been. This is not harassment because he's a public figure. Okay, and I can critique and criticism. This is my opinion only. She looks like Megan the Gorilla. And her trying to be tough and all the time doesn't add to it. I used to kind of like her, but uh, I'm flip floppy. All right, so Megan had took to Twitter to respond to um, the Canadian uh, light skin poppy himself. Okay, the champagne uh, poppy. The, the 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 number one billboard for the past 10, 20 years, Poppy. I feel it's not a home, it's not homo no no homo on that because okay, it's not like I'm Poppy. I feel weird calling him man, even if that's your name. Like I used to have a barber, his name was Pops. I'd try to make up a a, a, weird, a different way of calling because I feel weird calling another man daddy. I don't even call my own dad daddy. What? Crazy? Hey, daddy. Hmm? Shreggy? And I love, hey, listen, I love gay people. Trust me. Matter of fact, I almost got fooled by, by a, uh, uh, uh. Matter of fact, that's a story for another day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, them, hey, them, 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 them tries. Sometimes, especially with the feminism world going on today, they be looking more and acting more feminine than some of y'all females, like Megan Thee Stallion or Glorilla. Did y'all see Glorilla when, on live? Was she try to moan? Hey yo, this hard moan. Oh, oh, it sounds like Rick Ross. What's going on there, bro? Confusing world we live in. Anyway, man. So the stallion took to Twitter to say she was upset, okay? She didn't like a single bit about that lyric. She took it as a direct shot. And the media was saying it's a shot, so I don't blame her. It did say stallion. Stop using my shooting for clout, B-A-N. Mm. I never try to do a voice. Is she manly today or, or feminine? Lately, she's been playing victim, so she's 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 going feminine. So let's let's go with it. Stop 
using my shooting for clout. B A N. Since when is it cool to joke about women getting shot? You ends especially. Rap ends are lame. Ready to boycott by shoes and clothes, but dog pile on a black woman when she says she one of your homeboys abused her. Abused her? Oh, hey. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Listen. And I hate to reference this because not that I'm defend I'm I'm gonna get into it actually, but abuse here is a is a is a I let me finish and then we'll talk about it. Cause I got some stuff to say today. I told you, this is gonna be a good one today. It's gonna be a juicy, fiery, explosive video. Where is it? So when the mother effing facts come out, remember ya H A favorite rappers that stood behind the end that shot a female. Calm down, Megan, calm down. Relax. When the facts come out, they ain't come out yet. Well actually the facts that did come out <laughs> paint a completely different picture. Like it feels like you see why I be getting irritated? These, these some of these people, some of the shade room females, I I actually have vendetta with you, Megan, because me going on here, like there's a there is a there was a you what's the word? Can you say you blocked me. You blocked my you take the P out. You uh blocked me. You you ruined a a a, a, a I don't wanna say a kill because it's not like I'm a lion in the jungle trying to eat the the, 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 the deer. You listen. I had I had a thing with a female. I had a little chemistry. She seen what I said about you. She took it like I'm red pill, dude. <laughs> Andrew Tate vilified me. So you ruined that for me, Megan. I blame you. But we're gonna get the facts. Paint a different picture, bro. Like here's the facts, bro. Let me since you want to talk facts, Megan. Who gets shot and hit the club next day to twerk? If I get shot, I'm in the hospital, I'm relaxing, I need some time to, to process this trauma that just happened to me. I need some time to rest, especially being famous. I don't want to be in a club, man. I just got shot. But nah, you know what Megan said? Where's my chips? Hold on a second. <laughs> that stallion power must have been different. Maybe I don't have the stallion power. Megan, I don't know if you watched the movie. Played in full. She said this. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, N gets shot every day, B. Oh, lad. <laughs> I would post the movie, but I don't want to get... You ever watch the movie? I'll try to post a screenshot. I play with the brightness and stuff, so they don't copyright me. But and get shot every day, B. Look it up. Anyway, but even 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 in that movie, if, bro, I know some. Listen, man, I come from that life. I'm from the streets, bro. I seen people ba 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 da boom. People get hit. When you get hit, bro. Like for even if you got grazed by, even if you almost, you need some time to chill, and 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 process what just happened and just you don't just go back. What is this Afghanistan? Even in Afghanistan, you get huh? You gotta go to. Test one two three. Oh my god, I should have anyway, let's let's get through this. I don't want it ruining my video now. People attack me. Y'all go up for it. 
I defend myself. No, I'm doing too much. <laughs> She's in victim mode, right? Playing victim. Every time. It never ends. <laughs> and this did not happen until I came out <laughs> and said I got shot. <laughs> Y'all don't fuck with me. Okay, cool. F it. Bye. Hey, yo, bro. Don't make me lose it today, Megan. Listen, you want to talk facts, right? What did the doctor in her case say? By the way, before we get into it, let me make a quick disclaimer. Everything I'm saying is allegedly. I'm not going to keep saying allegedly, but let me say it once. And everything I'd say is what I think. Me as a person. I could be right. I could be wrong. Let me deal with this uh, notification because it's annoying and I don't want it to ruin my video. Let me make a note about that one. Okay. Okay. Let me just do that quickly. Oh, the commercial break. Would you like to advertise? Are you tired of getting played with and going to advertise? You pay all this money to some creator and he ignores you and tells people, oh, I'm just doing this for the ad. Or he does it weak and whack. All right. You want some real promotion? You want a guy to really embrace your brand? Man, hit me up, man. I'm not the biggest YouTuber, but I'm the hardest worker. So eventually with time, they have no option but to become. And you're ah, they're gonna backwatch this, so all right, waste your own time. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy AK. All right, shout out to the sponsor. Or lack thereof. Listen, let me just talk to you straight up. I love the black woman. I love the black woman. When I critique my black people, it's because I love them. It's because I care about them. It's because I believe we are a failure to our ancestors. We should be greater than. When I know that my ancestors, I'm from Sudan, and I spoke about this in many videos. If you're new here, go do your homework. And smash subscribe before I hit you with the smash something else. Maybe a girl. My fans, I've never smashed their girls because they're family. We don't do that to each other. Only to you haters. Ooh, we make it hurt. But when I know my ancestors built pyramids, and I see the modern black man talk about, I'm on a black, this my black. The only black you should be worried about is how they... They still don't know how your ancestors built pyramids and invented math. They took our science and they flexing with it. And you here worried about Amiri disease. Good job, buddy. Bravo. I don't want to hear anybody open their pothole to say that. I hate you. You hate on a black woman. I hate on a black woman from where? Which one of you clowns opened your pothole... The same pothole you open it to say, I hate black women. Which which one of you bozos, clowns? Ooh, what's some words that won't get me demonetized? Embecils, clowns, bozos. Uh, 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 God, that's the only... Everything else, I got a censor. Mother effer. Stupid. Brittany Griner is a black woman. African American, rather, says y'all. Okay. African American woman stuck in Russia who they're giving her the book. She got caught in a political struggle, really, in a political back and forth. You know, she got used as a pawn to send a message to the United States. Like, yeah, don't, don't get it twisted. I'm still the boss over here, you know? She was black, African American. She got caught with a weed vape out in Russia. Apparently, it's a taboo out there. 
So they're giving her the book as a person who grew up in, in, a, in Saudi Arabia. I'll tell you one thing. When I was growing up in Saudi Arabia, women had to cover up religious police. Now it's not there. But an American citizen don't have to follow these rules. An American citizen could get caught with alcohol, which is taboo and illegal. But the, the, their, their embassy would interfere and that's America. You know, nobody messes with America politically. So they let them go. If I did the crime, the same crime you did, I'm getting a book. You're not because you're American. So the American passport has value. Mine doesn't. What a shame, right? Sudan passport, trust me, one day I'm going to burn it on camera. Just wait. Might do it tomorrow. Who knows? They keep playing with me. I never got love from them. <laughs> F them. I only got hate, no support. I never forgot it. Never will. I'm keep. I'm gonna wake up every day and keep it on my mind. That's how I work so hard. Anyway, imagine Brittany Griner was white. Ooh, if Brittany Griner was a white woman. First of all, the media is not really. The media is just, uh, starting to do her like they did me a little bit. Oh, that man, she's in jail in Russia. She's sitting there in a the cell. Black women around her, just, they just talking like, Where are you from? My boyfriend named Victor, he'll come, he'll bring you, he'll bring, come here. Or she's getting, because you know, it's jail. Racism is a thing. It is what it is. She's looking at 10 to 20 years for a weed vape. If she was a white woman, that's just what I think, my opinion. I think that the, the troops and the army and those planes that you see like in the Arabian military music videos, they show them, whew, they show them doing war crimes with a song, bragging. All that, you know, what does it say on a passport? We will preserve and protect you with our each and last of our soldiers. That would have applied. I don't see it applying to Brittany Griner. But again, Sleepy Joe did sanction them, so she's a pawn, okay? She got, she's a casualty of war. Apparently, she don't really matter like that. They try to exchange her for, um, I don't know, they just, Sleepy Joe said, all right, bro, hey, Putin, I give you this, you give it. Oh, you don't want to? It is what it is. You, it, would have, it wouldn't have been, it is what it is if she was white. But I sat back and watched the black community, the same idiots, the same bozos, the same, excuse my French, I'm black. You, 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 let me not say that. Let me get, I don't want to get canceled on here. You, 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 imbeciles got all this stuff to say for me. Okay, you hate the black woman. That same pothole, I didn't see it open up. It only opened up to criticize me and hate on me. But it doesn't open up. You don't open your pothole to defend Brittany Griner, to speak up and remind the world. Of, you forgot about her. She's depressed. She's thinking of self-deletion. She feels like the world forgot about her, like the American citizenship or the American dream of being an American, the greatest country in the world. That was a lie. I'm sorry, Brittany. I'm, I fight for you. But you, idiot, you don't open your pothole for that. You open it to say, I'm this, I'm that. You forgot about Brittany Griner, haven't you? Keep it on it. Matter of fact, when 6 9 went to Russia, Takashi 6 9 the rainbow clown, the rainbow, let me show. The federal informant, known federal informant, Takashi 6 9 who keeps playing gangster. I've done a video on him and Megan before. They might show up in the suggested. Watch both. When he went to Russia, he said, F Brittany Griner, I'm out here. Huh? I went off at him. I forgot which video it was, but I went off here. Like, I went off so hard, I felt bad for my neighbors. They had to hear me. I actually spoke out. Where were you? 
Name one YouTuber who spoke out for Britney Griner as hard as I did. And if they did, with as much emotion as I did, because I feel her pain. You ever been to jail? You haven't. I felt her pain. I felt how she felt forgotten about. All y'all with the ugly potholes that criticized me, nobody spoke a word, let alone an Instagram story post about Britney Griner. I did. Your favorite YouTubers stay quiet. Let the history books write that next time they say I disrespect the black woman. I love the black woman more than you do. You just want a virtue signal off my name. Because if it wasn't the black woman, it would have been the black culture. It would have been this. It would have been that. It would have been the Bitcoin tatted on my face. It's always something with y'all, right? But just let the history books write who spoke out for Britney. And I got you, Brittany. I'll fight for you. I had a whole video plan about you. I pretty much just said everything about the polit politics. But let me say. I got carried away, distracted, right? So these bozos will try last matter of fact. You know, you know, you know, I I I I I had a white girl. Like, and I had I had I had wheels on there, baby. I was I was uh, what they call it. Doing groundwork. When you talk to a girl and you know you're flirting back and forth, that's called groundwork. Just like the construction worker. Or the, the. First you do the groundwork, then you lay the pipe. <laughs> Shout out my brother Sean. Sean come on. Anyway, so I had groundwork going. Very hard work, by the way. A very pretty white girl. Can't say her name, obviously. Very bad, okay? Short hair. You know I love them white white girls with short hair. I go crazy. That's my weakness. I love those just like the white man loved the Asian ladies. It is what it is. But she seen she was a fan of Megan. She seen what I said and poo. Here's what got me upset. I already covered Megan and why I think she's a liar. As you know, the show, Are You Smarter Than a Sixth Grader? A sixth grader can look at Megan the Stallion and knows she's an effing liar. Wait, what did she tweet? I want to highlight two of her tweets here. Uh, where is it, Meg? Yep. The pictures I have. Bear with me, guys. Yep, there it is. Oh. Don't go to the test. Hold on, yep. Thank you, sir. Yep, so yep. She said, and when the mother effers, and when the mother effing facts come out, remember, no, no, hold on, voice. With my water. Hold on, I gotta take this call, y'all. Now, don't let these, you know, I'm a man, I'm a black guy with face tattoos. To the average person, you know, I scared them. I kind of come off as a, as a, especially given if people don't know earning a Bitcoin or they don't see it up close. And they see a B on my forehead, like Fredo Santana. Their first assumption is, he's a blood, he's a gang, gangster. Now, I am a gangster, but I don't know what your definition of gangster is, but I'll tell you what I mean by that. I do not gangbang. The definition is diluted. It was a point in my life where, you know, it is what it is. I'm... I had to walk that walk to survive, not because I wanted to fit in. I didn't even try to rap. I just wanted to survive and, 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 and make a way. And, you know, being a young dude, you know. But now that I've grown up and seen the horrors of that life, now I, I lead a life with zero, like I don't even want a parking ticket. 
that's how much of a straight and narrow I walk now. And if I don't, I'm, I don't even hang with nobody who do crime. Like, I don't even care if it's a victimless crime. <laughs> I don't even torrent software. I buy it. A joke, but I lead a good life. And I matured, as you see, I'm into science and and like so again, don't let these tattoos fool you. I am not one of those, like Hassan Campbell says, and I love my black people, but you did it to yourself. You earned the title the dirty section of YouTube. Where people just come and hate. And I don't know what what they're aiming what what their aim is when they act gangster. Cause see, if you really live that life, and see, I'm 24 years old. I went through grown man pain. See, a lot of y'all come on here and try to portray a character. You can fool them, but not me. Anyway, I think on a higher level, kind of like a young pharaoh, right? I'm not at the same, you know, God is still working on me. Uh, I practice. Actually, I don't even know if he, I love Pharaoh, but I don't know if he's accountable. I'm the type of person, if I make a mistake, I'll be the first to tell you I made a mistake and I'm sorry. Especially if it's regarding like, I'm not talking about, hey, baby, sorry, I, I did that to you, baby. Never put my hands on a female. I'm just saying, like, you know, baby, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, whatever. If I make a, if I really make a mistake, I'll apologize. Be the first to apologize and make it up to you. Fair and I'm fair and just. That's really what being I'm 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 against the but by the Arabian, Saudi Arabian standards, okay? Not those, uh, not those uh, clowns running around. So, Megan Thee Stallion, I promise you, to my supporters, my family, I promise you guys, and I promise Meg Thee Stallion, I make the promise in front of all of you guys that watch this, you bear witness to this promise on November 5th, 2022, I think, but I'm already in 2024. But in your in your in your universe's time, parallel to mine, twenty twenty two on the fifth of November. Twenty five days to my birthday, by the way. Feel free to send uh, super thanks as a gift for this hard work. I I, I would appreciate it. You don't have to. But um, I promise you, Megan, that. Uh, You said here on your tweet. And when the motherfucking mother facts come out, y'all, y'all, H A favorite rappers that stood behind me. Okay, when the facts do come out, meaning this is an ongoing court case. If it comes out, Megan, I promise you, wallahi, wallahi, I'm gonna swear to you. The Arabian Quran swear. If you break that promise, they chop your arm off from from. Uqsim billah al-Ali al-Azim. Wallahi, wallahi. Wahiyate. If it comes out, Megan, I promise that you were telling the truth, I will be the. I will make a full-on apology video, and I will slap myself on camera. I don't care if they say deep simulating violence, demonetize. I don't care. I'll embarrass myself and make zero money just to apologize. Just for humiliating you, I'll humiliate myself for you. But so far, based on the public details, based on, uh, what's his name? The ex-Homeland uh, Security federal agent I don't like, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to be friends with Fez, a cool support, but he is Sudanese, so shout out to him. Myron, Unplug Fit. By the way, what's your real name? Hit me up, bro. I want to speak to you as a Sudanese. 
You don't have to. I mean, you're big now, mashallah. But I'd pay you just to support you, okay? Saidna, I'll let you grow. Just my, I'm a Sudanese. Easy, easy. I don't know if you're talking Arabic. This is for my run. If you're talking Arabic, that's my. Reach out, yaman. I'll let you grow. You don't have to grow, mush. Yalla, sahibak, magerish. Taal, kelimni, bnetfaham. That's for my run. For you, I'll be the first to apologize. Myron did a, a, a video because he's, you know, he used to be a federal agent. He put the case files out, including pictures. Based on what, see, I believe these before anybody. Candace said he passed from fentanyl. I seen a knee on the neck, Candace. And I'm a skeptic. I'm open minded. To have to a, to a opposing opinion, to an opposing idea or fact, I am open to debate at any time. I'm on the side of the truth. I don't want to win the argument to look cool. I don't care about looking cool. Look, look at my hairline. I'm a I'm a grown man. This I'm not part of the, as Hassan says, dirty section of YouTube. And I wouldn't say I'm intelligent because I don't know it all. If someone says they're intelligent, they're an idiot. No one knows everything. So hear me out. If the fact says you're you're lying, I will turn you into the buttocks of every joke. For, I'll make it an hour, sixty minutes. And I monetize. If the otherwise, I humiliate myself. Okay, if I could shake, you shake on it. As a man, I mean, you you are trying to be a man. I'm begging. Oh, not right now. Right now, you're a victim mode. <laughs> Abuse me, bro. I'm still trying to wrap like all the pictures and the doctors, because the doctor said you stepped on glass. Where'd you get? Was there shells? Megan, you are a black woman claiming to be. Like, listen, you're from the hood, bro. Cut it out. Let me talk to you straight up. Since you're from the street, from the hood, listen to me. I'm done doing a white mouth voice. Hit me out. So you, why why you call the white man? You called you called the you called the police. You supposed to be a hood lady. I he shot at you. Aren't you, uh, and you got the driver, leave that nigga there. If you really broke the glass and you trying to cover your, your lady, I get it. But like, why get the police involved? See, I don't claim to know what's going on. All I know is to say that Tori shot you. Tori is a Canadian. Tori, if you did it, because I've been defending you, if it turns out, Waqsim billah, wallahi, my brother. Allah. If it turns out she was right, I got so much humiliation coming from you for you. If it turns out that she's wrong, because <clears throat> Tori, let me let me talk to you. Am I still recording? Let me make something clear. I don't listen to Drake. I don't listen to Tori. I don't listen to Megan. You know what's in my play? I got two playlists. Old Gucci Chief Key, so what? And I got another playlist. Saudi, Saudi military music. I ran this song. I'll post the playlist if you want it, Spotify. So I don't listen to any of them. I'm not a fan of anybody. I'm biased to like Tori. And defend the Tory because I feel like he's been victimized, and I feel like my my opinion only. You can you're free to disagree, and if you convince me, I'll change my mind. I'm not here to troll you. Hey, right. it is what it is. 
Feel free to disagree, but I'm biased because I know how hard it is for a Canadian rapper to make it in the mainstream U.S. industry. Drake was lucky. He knew Lil Wayne and him. It happened like pa, pa, pa. It was luck. He can say hard work. Yeah, it's that hard work. But for the most part, you had a head start and, and a good connection. Tori got it at the mud. Maybe Drake is, and Drake, it's no offense, bro. Shout out to you, your successes. I'd never hate. One thing about AK to Bree, I've been broke. I've been, a, I've been, I've been, I've been a lot of things. One, two things, never been a snake, never been a hater. Even in my brokest moments. Even when I was allegedly scamming, I never scammed somebody like a grandma. Hello, you friendly? Give it a guy. It was always scamming a scammer. I got a censor. Negro. I never, you know what I'm saying? So like, hear me out. Sorry, I got to talk to you as a Canadian, as a brother, as a man, bro. Hey, bro, I know Canadian. Sorry, you used to be active, bro. Get in that, get in that, get in that breach. All right? Busting down, see, like, I ain't going to talk too much, but you was on Telegram, bro. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. Don't, yeah. Check your Telegram, Tory Lanez. Like, we know each other. But hold on. Hold on a sec. Let me... Tori, you got an open case, and you're a whole celebrity. Like, if you walk outside, like, which is good, congratulations. You know, inshallah, I can't wait for my turn. You, oh, you made it seem good. Like, I respect that. Can't take a success, but why am I a random 24-year-old YouTuber? Got to tell you, the whole celebrity, like, why you punch, what's his name? The entanglement dude in his face. You entangled his jaw with his ear. Oh, the you're not you're not in Scarborough, okay, Toronto. You're not in uh, Rexdale, okay. You're not in uh, what's it called Dundas Square, all right. Hey, yo, fam. Well, how did Toronto accent? I forgot. Forward, forward. Forward, link up. I'm from the six, eh? I forgot how they talk. It was, oh, Bro, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't, uh, what's it called? Where, where's, where's top five from? Jane and Finch. Okay, you're at the airport. If not the paparazzi catching you, because you're a celebrity now, whether you, you know, you hanging with Megan, Megan, the horse, <laughs> and she's mad at you, so mad that she lied to the police, allegedly, over Kylie Jenner. You're a celebrity, bruh. You can't be acting like you're still out. You're not in Jane Finch with top five. You act like top five, you're going to be with top five. Top five is facing a M1. First degree murder. Get out that mentality, bruh. Can't believe I'm, I gotta tell you this. So you you go do that not with some gangster. It's like it's like six nine all over again. You trying to play gangster, but not with a gangster, with a dude. I mean, just because you're, he's black don't mean he's gangster, bro. Like he's a goofy, bro. The the man talking about I can't shake hands because my doctor said. Some about a doctor's note and, and, and COVID. Like, bro, the man was in entanglement, not with Keisha, okay, or Wakisha, or, or, or even though I have thoughts, but like Megan, like he wasn't there with a gangster hood girl. He was there with Will Smith and, and, and Jada Pinkett. Like they're, stiff, like, they're almost white people, bro. So you go and play with him, you gonna do you like the white people. 911, there's a midget with, 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 a, with a bald spot who just punched me in the airport. And the bleeding. 
Like, you're hard. I get it. But why are you trying to prove you're hard? And you're a celebrity. The only thing you should be trying to... If I was you, I'd be a good boy. I'm pretty sure they just revoked his bond. Now he's on house arrest. You're on house arrest? If you was an American, it's cool. But you're a whole... I don't know if you're an immigrant to Canada, but you're a Canadian in the U.S., bro. Don't make it hard for me. Don't give us a bad name so when I come to the U.S., they be like, oh, last time, Tori. Uh, no, I defend him, but I am nothing like him. I promise you, U.S. immigration, okay? Nothing like him. I'm a good boy. I walk the straight and narrow. That's why I'm telling But yo, as a brother, bro, you're stupid. You, sh you know what you should do if I was you? <laughs> Call Saul Goodman. Oh, the... I'm going to punch August Alcina. Was it worth it? I just did a two-hour lecture about anger management. It's useful for times like this. You might be like, okay, we two hours? Yeah. Yes, two hours. Those two hours could have saved this whole case. And court could have went. You should be donating. You should be at church doing charities right now. Even if it's fake, I hate that. I never recommend faking it. I do a lot of charity work I will never tell you about because I do it for a lot, not for your pothole having ugly face looking, hater, froggy in the face looking, mother ever. What I do, I never speak about. I let the, if the people want to speak, they speak. But I'm, never, I'm not the type of dude to walk up on a homeless person. Hey, man, here's a hundred. Get the F out of here. I didn't get more than that. I do it regularly because it's a car. Um, Islam, you should give 2% of your income regularly to those who need it. I don't give it to a, a, a crackhead down the road so he can buy crack with it. No. I give it to those who really need it. That's why I have, listen, I have respect. I ain't got to speak on it. This ain't about me. This is about the midget who got short mat. Listen, I'm 5'9". I know those Americans, their water and food is different, so they're all bigger. But, bro, I'm comfortable being 5'9", bro. Listen, I, I can go and talk to a lady that's above me. She might be like, hey, you're short. Hey, listen. But I'm I'm determined. If I want to, I'm gonna get you. Don't play with me. I'm Arabian. Oh, the I'm the dummy with the B on his face. Bitcoin. If I'm if I'm bold enough to do that, oh, the I get the girl. You did too. Megan is a whole she hulk. <laughs> You managed the boom, boom, she hooked, but you got short man syndrome with what's his name? Tyrese or his name? Uh, Trey Songs? As a brother, I would have slapped you a, a friendly slap, a brotherly slap. So calm down for Tori. As for Megan, I'm not going to troll her and do, I was trying to be funny there, but now I watch Young Ferris, so I'm calm. I'm back in my. Black man, um, ancestors, uh, you know, pyramid building, uh, uh, female respecting, uh, 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 you know, black woman loving. Uh, and I do it genuinely, not because they said that. Listen, these, these bums that talk all this ish, most of them got grown men on Instagram trying to tell me some, and you don't even take care of your kids. You're in the club every weekend. Mother Effa, I'm, I'm not even half your age. I'm 24, and I take care of three black women financially all by myself. What did you do for a black woman? You won't even speak on Britney Griner because it don't matter to you. You're more upset at how can you wear white lives matter? How can you not share? Black people don't share their homie that's rapping. They don't share, um, what's his name? Or Brittany Griner, they don't share. Like you don't, 
You know what's happening in Sudan? That's black people. Traumatizing stuff. You don't care about it. Let, 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 let one of these bums tell me about something. I ruined their day, man. What was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, yeah. The last point. And this goes out to females, our, our races. When I did the Me Too movement video, I said the Me Too movement is nonsense. Because I'm operating at such a higher level mentally, no offense to you simple-minded uh, 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 idiots, simple-minded, uh, I'm not trying to disrespect you, I'm being actually serious. I feel like when I'm talking or putting these titles I'm not, I'm not being clickbaity, maybe a little bit. But when I look at it a month later, I see why some people may confuse me for a red pill. I am totally against the manosphere and the red pill. But I, I do acknowledge why they exist and, and, and grow. I critique them on a lot of things. And I agree on some things. But I am no way part of them. I don't care about them. <clears throat> when I spoke about Me Too movement. I wasn't trying to defend the, the, the predators. Like I said, I got three black women. The only reason I didn't self-delete a long time ago, I tried a few times, was these three black women. If I didn't have to take care of them, a lot of people would have been in, in the dirt. But I got stuff to lose. I got to take care of people, right? So obviously, I don't defend art in any shape, form, whatsoever. What I do defend is two things. Censorship, freedom of speech, and justice. The justice, I migrated from thousands of miles and had to start my life over for human rights, such as freedom of speech. Because back home, again, my auntie was a journalist. They hit her with the bullet, bullet. You can't run, but you can't hide from the bullet, bullet. For being a journalist, she wasn't on a block with you throwing B's and C's and forks and but She wrote, just like I'm doing today here. You see why I fight this fight? It's deep. You see why I care about freedom of speech? I don't care about Andrew Tate. I don't give a F about, it. what's his name? Shout out to Sneak, it's a little funny. But I, I, it's the principle. I, I migrated from Sudan to Saudi and struggled for years and got beat. And you don't understand my freedom of speech for me. People lot. I mean, I get deviated. Oh, the, let me end on this note. Let's get calm. I was, I was ranting and being animated. I want to make something clear before I express this. Uh, uh, the opinion might be a little bit explosive, but once you get to understand its core, and again, Anyone is free to challenge or disagree with it. Don't try to cancel me like Tate because I'm actually I'm not trying to troll you and make you post for business. I don't have a course to sell you. I am literally I want peace between people. I am not a rapper that's signed to a label who may have or may have not went through. The door. You know Nori's door? When you're successful, you get 50,000 a show. There's a door. I don't know if it's the Illuminati. What do you say? I don't know if it's 
Homo sapiens. I don't know if it's Illuminati, a sacrifice. I didn't walk through any door. My numbers aren't the greatest, but trust me, my influence rings. You want to test my influence? Pop me. Do me like X or Pop Smoke or, or, or PMB Rock. Don't worry, if I go out today, I'll go out a legend. You will realize how many people know me. My influence is bigger than you think. Like I said, I helped create, create drill music behind the scenes. A lot of people know me. Your favorite rapper knows me. Most of them don't like me. But anyway, I say that to say, I don't work for some company. Or like for example, when I tell you that I, I love the LGBT, like I really have no problems. A lot of people make these disclaimers because they want to, like, they just want to conform and get paid and have no problems with gay people. And they go outside and, and you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they just say it because they have to. I'm as gangster as they come. I love gay people, but a lot of y'all show hostility, G. You know what I'm saying? LGBT, whatever. Let me tell you something. When I grew up in Saudi Arabia, if it was found out and it was provable in a court, or not provable, they're loose over there. There's no justice. That you, sir, are homosexual, or that's, they say, can't say transsexual, you say transgender, whatever. If you're part of the Rainbow Coalition, okay? They don't, no, no, no. I obviously can't show a picture. I want to describe it. If I describe it, is that community violation? Listen, guys, viewer discretion. I'm just going to describe it. If you have a weak stomach, you shouldn't even be here. Like, this is, this is a gangster show. <laughs> what I'm about to say might upset some people, but eh, I'm just going to describe it. So like in a video game in GTA or the new Modern Warfare 2, okay, let's assume you're an adult. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here and make it this far. In Arabia, capital punishment. You about to see my hand here? You got capital punishment is the legally official punishment for homosexuality. Arabia is governed... I mean, now it's more relaxed with the king, by a uh, new king, by Sharia law. So homosexuality is D-E-A-T-H sentence. How? There is no electric chair. No, no, sir. In the West, they have electric chair. This is, it's over. They have the, the injection, lethal injection. Ooh. Go to bed, it's over. Everyone is like, uh. In Arabia, they put your head on a, I don't know if it's a table or what is it. It's like a, and they don't do it in like a, no, no, they do it in public or used to when I was growing up. Brother, let me get close and tell you this, this personal stuff. And they used to do it in Chop Chop Square, which is, I'm not, <laughs> sometimes it feels like I'm trolling and I give people nicknames. I promise you, Chop Chop Square is the official place's name. I'm not, I told Baz he thought I was joking. I told him, look it up on Google Maps, Chop Chop Square. If you go on Instagram, Locations, put out, they only show you three posts. It's limited. They are spent, the new king and his, 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 God bless him, I want, I don't want to turn out like Jamal Khashoggi. I honestly like him. I have no, he's not, I'll do a video later, but they're spending millions of dollars to clean that up, their reputation and image. <clears throat> 
By the way, make peace with the U.S. Don't, don't. They're there. By the way, so look, I defended my gay friend, okay? And which is in Wahhabi Islamic Sharia law governed Arabia. So I was basically risking my life for you LGBT. So I don't want to hear nobody come talking about homophobic, homophobic. When I came to the uh, to the West, you feel me? Y'all gay people are different, bruh. They're so hostile and they, they're like allied with, it's like a war. They're allied with the feminists. Talking about, hey, bro, what's up, gang? What you doing, yo? You used the wrong pronoun. Holla. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, English is my second language. You're going to have to excuse me, baby. Misgendered me. Bro, my gay, my gay homie, I actually don't just say this for disclaimers. I'm dead out. And it didn't bother me, you know? To tell the truth, he's more gangster than a lot of people I met later on in life. Especially when I got famous. A lot of straight, I don't know, y'all I might be Rainbow Coalition. It is what it is, nothing wrong with it, I don't care. I used to clown him and used to tell him, the, my, my gay friend, which is a real end. He was in the streets putting in work. We got in car accidents together. I ain't gonna say allegedly, I could be lying. He ran away. He was like, we hit a prince one time in the car. Arabian prince. I seen the airbags pop up. I could be lying. This is a fake story. And he just did the dash. I was in a rut one time. I caught on him. He pulled up. And it wasn't because he wanted my booty or he wanted me to. No, it was, it was this real end. He held it down a lot of times. But he didn't come visit me when I was locked up. I'm still mad about that. The reason my nose leans like this, I was riding shotgun point lean. Not on some weirdo shit for y'all twisted in the mat. Again, the gay people I knew back home were real, and I still talk, I knew two. One of them still support me. And I don't even, I don't even think he really gay. I think he got a girlfriend and whatnot. I think it was just some Arabia stuff, like, like you know, when you in jail, a lot of people ain't gay, but they get life. Hey, listen, you, but uh, that stuff does stuff to your mind. You know what I mean? It doesn't doesn't make you gay. The man got a wife and kids, and again, I see him now. And for my experience, he was realer to me than a lot of straight Negroes I know today. Backstab me. Never did me wrong. Shout out to you. I can't say his name because in that culture, even if the laws don't say <laughs> capital punishment, D penalty, the culture is taboo. So it's a lot of stuff I know I take with me to the grave. But when I say this stuff, I'm not financed by some company and I gotta, like, I'm a boss, bro. I'm not like these bozos that's trying to pass the Bill C-11 to save their non-existent career. They think because they got a, uh, a brand name. <laughs> You're a worker. Sneeze the wrong way, you ain't gonna hit you with the, You're fired. Me? I say my opinion, whether it's offensive or not. I don't get canceled because I'm, I don't say it. I'm not trying to say inflammatory opinions like I'm crazy. Like Andrew Tate trolled y'all. He trolled you into making him the number one search. He trolled you. Sneeko, I'll tell you this. I'm a skeptic. Every conspiracy theory, I take it and I break it down. I see if it's real or it's fake. Some things might be real sometimes. Some things might be blown out of proportion. 
I believe in extraterrestrials, but I've yet to believe in them. That they came here in intergalactic federation or whatever. I'm a man of science, and I believe in metaphysics, aka magic, which is really my ancestors. I do separate videos, remind me. I say all that to say, before I go rest and try to recover my sickness, as I edit these videos I've been working, when I did the Me Too movement, I wasn't trying to make inflammatory opinions for just troll purposes. I was being funny here and there, but that was to break the ice. I had a point to make. My point was, and I will make this point at this, I don't care. They can assassinate me. They can assassinate me. I don't care. Just make sure my family is taken care of. That's all I want. You can, you can take my life right now. But if you don't take it, I would have went away from the wrong pill or lean. So at least I'd, I'd spread the truth in the process. And it's not some fake conspiracy BS. It's simple, bro. Don't tamper with the justice system. I don't care if it's females. Because, bro, I'll tell you like this. When they're trying to ban encryption, period, they're not going to come and say, yeah, I, we took your encryption. What you going to do about it? They're not Debo from Friday. They're going to come in and try to use your, your uh, what was it? They try to take advantage of your emotions and wake a part of you that is the protector, that is the patriot, that is the one that doesn't care about, I mean, cares, but you value your country over encryption. And the whole time you ain't realize what's the game being played. Like When they try to do that, to ban encryption, they used child, you know, the twisted videos they watch. They try to use that to justify. Now, I'm completely against that. If you ever come that, you're going to face justice in the streets. But don't take away encryption. Man's got a right to privacy. Not everything that's encrypted is child P, cupcake, EDP. Nah. When they come and try to tell you, like, uh, uh, uh. I don't know, like, what's, what else? Like, they pass weird rules in it after crises, right? And they try to justify it using something horrible. Like, they justified, uh, a lot of messed up rules, like the Patriot Act. I don't even remember what the what the law was, but I remember it being horrible, and it was justified after nine slash one one one. I I put my glasses somewhere, but it don't matter. I'm gonna get this video done. I'll take the lighting. Whatever. I look down. I look down at, just like I look down on these haters, bums. I got, my opinions are not inflammatory because I'm trying to just piss you off on purpose, like a uh, Andrew Tate or a 6 9 I'm not, my goal, I would love money, but the thing about it is, if this YouTube-ish works or not, I'm good. So my opinions are truly genuine. When I stand with the LGBT, I really stand with them. I criticize them as well. I'm like, hey, listen, bro. I had you back in Arabia. I, they would have chopped my head off for it. Now you're trying to come at me with the pronoun and misgender. I don't make me, don't make me. I served for your freedom. Like the troops that you remember or not. Okay, but they ain't even do what they're supposed to do. They did war crimes. Speaking of war crimes, back on topic, let's not keep getting carried away. 
Quick disclaimer, everything I say is not factual. It is my personal beliefs and opinion. It could be right, it could be wrong, just as much. It's an opinion. Don't take it for a fact. I don't want misinformation, disinformation, whatever they call it now, BS. Listen to this. I believe the Me Too movement, the reason it got so popular is because it was funded by people who had something to gain from it, such as governments or, 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 or world elites or people that had their stuff, people who had their, <laughs> listen, everybody in this world do some kind of dirt. I don't care if you're Mother Teresa. I bet if I look on your, if you look on somebody's search history, once you, if you're looking for some, you will find it. Even if it's not that, if you go on your girlfriend, who's, who's in real life, hypothetically, loyal. She's a loyal girl. But you in your head, you want to find some. Ayo, nah, I know you've been cheating. You will find some that you will interpret a certain way. You will find Anybody in this world is entitled to privacy. If you look for dirt anywhere, you will find it. So this is what I'm saying. Even <laughs> the elites are trying to take, like, why are you trying to take my freedom, bro? Or my, my, my privacy? I'm just like you, bro. I don't want them knowing what I look up on a hub or on Spank Bang. Oh, the, I just gave you a site. Make you pay for that site, should I? Just jokes, guys. No. But here's the thing. They, I believe, my opinion is, could be wrong. They pushed this Me Too BS. Because listen, I, if we're being honest, usually doesn't happen. It happens two places mostly. Let's keep it 100. Mostly happens in wars, which are caused and funded usually by the same elites. Let's keep it 100. People go to war. Ah, they're women. R S A. It's like part of the war thing. You never grew up in a war zone. You just say, the troops. You don't know what the troops did. That's the people who got invaded and hit. Okay? So when a guy like... Um, yeah, the, elite, the elites do most of the R-A... You know the word. Grapes. Graping. S A N. <laughs> it's either Harvey Weinstein or 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 soldiers sent by Har uh, people like Harvey Weinstein. You know what I'm saying? Lockheed Martin coming <laughs> F U B. So let's keep it on it. That's usually like most where it mostly happened. The other stuff was like consent, no consent. That's garbage. This is the mes message they're pushing. Of course, I defend women from R and grapes and, and, and SA at all times. I got two sisters I love very much. I'm sorry, sis, I used to hit you, but you know, it's Arabia. I, was, I would never do it again. I made up to her, don't worry. It is what it is. She forgive me, I don't give a F. She's taken care of financially. She don't gotta worry, cause AK, the, the big boss, is her big bro. Negro? So, Anyway, I take care of two, three black women in total. They don't got to worry for nothing. So obviously, I'm 100% against that. Anybody try to take their, their wiener anywhere near, it's getting cut. I don't give a F if they demonetize me. That's just, there's no nice way to say it. It's going to get scissors. I'm not censoring that part. You can suck my... Oh, the... Yeah, take your wiener over there. You're going to lose it. I'm going to turn you. I'm going to castrate you. You're going to have to get trans. You're going to have to turn transsexual. Transgender. Transgender. <laughs> you gonna, I'm going <laughs> to try, try, try to grape somebody that's with me. I'm going to turn you to a... <laughs> I'm going to change your pronouns. Oh, the... You just woke the Arabian in me. I say all that to say 
Yes, don't ever try to make it like, oh, AK is trying to be like Andrew Tate. I'm a hundred million percent against it. But here's what I'm against. Just like I said earlier, I migrated to the Canada for human rights I never had before. I never experienced what it's like to have a, a, a human rights to protect you from unreasonable surge or, or freedom of speech. You know, the Charter of Rights in America, the Constitution. I never had that till I was 18. You didn't appreciate it. I had to go through hell where they didn't have it. So when they try to tamper with it, and you're walking a sheep in the, in the, in the, in the uh, you know the rat in the wheel? Not only are you a sheep, a rat, you're also a crab in a bucket. You don't want to see a brother win. But it's cool. You the idiot, caught up just like everybody else. Or they come and tell you, yeah, just like the encryption. You want, we going to take away encryption, but it's to protect you. Nah, bruh. Protect me from what? These mother effers, the, 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 the predators, they're running loose. You give them a slap on the wrist. But you give Albert Gonzalez. Is it Gonzalez? You give Albert, the hacker, okay, 30 years for hacking a nonviolent crime. But people like uh, uh, predators get slaps on the wrist. You gave a hacker. Now think about this for a second. A hacker, that's a non-violent crime. You gave him the same punishment, a computer crime. I'm a hacker, dude. You could have gave him a job. You could have gave him a slap on the wrist and a counseling. The kid was a genius. There's an article I read on Washington Post. Now I'm getting distracted. But I'm going to tell you about that the article. Uh, uh, remind me. The article. Let me write it down. It's important that I tell you, but hear me out. We're coming back to it. Article. Let me highlight it. Yep. So when they tell you, Me Too Movement, are you against women? You're against women. Believe all women. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. I love women. I would take a life to protect my woman. I don't give a F how it's taken. Threats, this is not a threat. That's just a fact of life. I'm, I'm a warrior, a protector from Arabia, bro. I don't know. That's soft. Even our gay people are hard like that. <laughs> so you're telling me you're going to tamper with the justice system because it's believe all women? You're going to take away encryption and the Patriot Act. Chill, 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 chill. No, no, no. But Icky, that's just a conspiracy theory. Why would they? It's only to protect women. Well, explain this. This is a fact what I'm about to tell you. You're not going to hear this anywhere else because you're a sheep and everybody else is too. Okay? Or they work for somebody. I'm a boss. Let me tell you this. The reason you listen so far is because I'm a boss. Like it or not. Check this out. Julian Assange, okay? The guy who, uh, I, don't, I don't remember if it was WikiLeaks or something equivalent. Yeah, yeah, WikiLeaks. Oh, that's Snowden. Julian Assange, he was hiding. He's the guy that you know he was hiding. You forgot. You don't care. I keep up. Check this out. He was hiding in the London uh, uh, Portuguese or some kind of embassy for over... Six years or something like that, right? So the whole the whole the US what's the what's the awful crime that he's done? The awful crime. They want to extradite him and hit, hit him with the book. They want to charge him with treason. Treason for who? He's not an American citizen. The only crime he did was show the horrific reality. Of, of what you guys were doing. While you guys over here were capping with Sleepy Joe, lying to your face, talking about, these are heroes. Da -da -da, America, F yeah. They weren't telling you when they were popping at innocent civilians, talking about, 
he had you like Modern Warfare. I love that game, but still. Yep, he had a coming. For one, for four two. Civilian casualties. Yep, that, that bastard. Bro, like, I see on camera, Kablau. Oh, that's mothers and children. I knew people. And I love America, but I hate the ones who did that ish and the ones trying to protect it. I'm not some kind of uh, 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 extremist. I love everybody. I want peace. That's why I go so hard. Now you're telling me, instead of trying to apologize and rebuild, you're trying to spend millions of dollars to lock up Julian Assange. And here's where the Me Too movement comes in handy. Julian Assange has broken zero rules in the countries that they're trying to extradite him from. And some of them will not refuse to lock him up because he's not a criminal. He's not. He's only a, crim a criminal, dude, in the U.S. because he showed the truth of the crimes, the genocide y'all did. So instead of, instead of helping out Iraq and Afghanistan where they did genocide, they're trying to lock him up and extradite him to the U.S. But get this. I was getting to this point. Get this. You ready? The Me Too movement says, believe all women, right? So when they changed the laws, Julian Assange, remember I said he committed zero crimes. They brought some random girl who turned out to be lying to say that he's grapes, graping. Two women, actually. One in a second country. Believe all women. They don't need proof to arrest the man. So he was arrested. I don't know if he's been extradited yet, but you see what I'm saying? This was, he's not a criminal. The only crime he did, he didn't even leak the files himself. He just hosted the platform. Let's listen, even if you work for the government, bruh, I love your country just like you love your country, but keep it 100. Is he a criminal? Did what he do with the, with the people did that he exposed, was it right? Because we're all human. I'm trying to talk to the human inside you. And I'd never mess with feds like that, kick it with them. But I've met some, some of them. And we had, I had a conversation. I'm like, bro, your people do that. Like, I know, bro. <laughs> you know what we both, what both conclusions is? It is what it is, bro. But since I'm the V-Lone warrior, okay, handsome, all right, I'm a disciple of Satoshi, when they trying to come for you with the central bank digital currency to, to eliminate whatever privacy you got left and turn you into China social credit score with WEF, I stand up. If I, if I get popped, I already went through so much stress and my life is destroyed. At least my sisters or my kids, if I have any, or the people who look up to me, they're going to live a better life than I did. And the people who lost their lives before me, I'm going to make their names remembered. So it's personal, yes, but it's also my, my people and me, I refuse to go out a statistic like my haters here. Because I'm not a coward. This was never about women being great. This was about eliminating your right to need proof to lock you up. So if I'm a powerful dude, Sleepy Joe, right? Right? Shout out Sleepy Joe's. I like his son. And I do not wish for his son. I don't wish jail on nobody. But Hunter's son can go hit the pipe, the hit, the, smoke a rock, and 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 solicit, bang bang, which is cool. I allegedly may have done the same lifestyle at some point, so I don't wish jail on you. But if that was a regular citizen, one of the <laughs> NPCs out there, they would have gave him the book. But instead, he had the Secret Service come in and say, Shh, for one, reporting, 
active duty. Oh, he's protected. You see, it's not equal. I want peace, bruh. How about you treat, instead of uh, uh, people who look like me, they get the knee on the neck. But he gets that, come on. That's all I want, bruh. I don't want, I don't want you to change and go to war. I don't want war, I'm tired. You can look at my face and tell I'm tired. I see so much trauma, bruh. I'm a scared individual. I'm, yeah, I'm scared. I'm brave. But I got PTSD. I'm scared. When I hear the door slam, I'm braver than a lot of people. But when I hear the door slam, I'm like, I get tense. Like, when I get with girls, they say, relax. Why are you always so tense? And I grew up in a war zone. What are you talking about, stupid B word? I'm always tense. I'm always. I don't know who's, especially now that I'm getting famous. I get threats on my life, bruh. Just out of hate, bruh. Just out of me making it them not. <laughs> it, be... it is what it is. Name is AK Debris. I'm the GOAT. I influence my whole city. I'm the biggest rapper, but I get zero credit. Black Bob from shows. But F them, look at what we accomplished. Together, independent. Me and my supporters, my family. My loyalty is to y'all. If I get popped in the process, you're gonna look back. Don't be sad, just be, never be sad, okay? If I, if I, if I, if I exit this physical realm, don't worry. I don't want anyone to be sad. I'm not, I'm not even entertaining. Self-deletion, but <laughs> it's like life insurance. I'm getting, the more famous I get, especially because I've been talking a lot on YouTube and mentioning the enemies. I have my foot, I have my foot on their neck all year. Man, what if some of them retaliate? I'm safe, really, but they can't do it. I'm, I'm tough. I'd be scared of door slamming, but the ops, nah. I send them to, this is YouTube, let me relax. But for you guys, I'm just saying, if I'm gone, it is what it is. Just keep the message alive. I was a, I'm a disciple of Satoshi. Oh yeah, the article. I was about to end it. I'm gonna do a separate video, but I'm gonna introduce you to the idea and as a reminder to myself. The article. I read an article on the Washington Post, or or it could have been Fox or CNN, something, some news that the old people watch, you know? Your parents might watch it, or the grandpa, or the type of stuff they put on at the at the, at the shop or restaurant to keep it, you know? News. It was a text, like it was an article. I read, yeah, I read. Dummy, something you should do. Hold up. Hold up. Let me switch flavors on them. Pop. The article simply stated something that I knew for a long time, bruh. Like, who who you playing with? That Russia and China, when it comes to war, because now war is not all pa pa pa. That's just Ukraine or whatever. And us, the people in the past. Real wars are now being fought using computers. This is the era of the hacker. Russia and China got the most elite, smartest, you know, savviest hackers of the world. While you, do do do, America. What was the anthem? Oh, can't you see? Da, 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 da. I love us over here, West North America, but when it comes to. Uh, da, 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 
You're average at best. You're a four, a five, six on a good day. But why is that? I'm not gonna explain it here. I'm gonna go. This is this needs its own video. All right, that this, I, I think I'm past the hour mark. Hit like, smash subscribe, share the video. Don't be a crab. If you a crab, hate yourself. You are gonna be a crab in a bucket. Remain in a bucket. And I'm gonna hate. I'm, I'm. I'm gonna give you something to hate on. It's just you a hater. I show love back. Ask my supporters. Never been Hollywood. Smash the subscribe button. Hit like. If you got money to play with, shout out to um the punch made uh, Doug. He asked for my cash app. My brother, I can't accept money like that, cash app or Bitcoin. If you want to give me money to support the channel, give it to me through the super chat button and I will shout out your name in the beginning of next video. Uh, that way I pay my taxes on it, okay? I need that legitimate income, my brother. Okay, my, my African brother must work together to prosper. Peace out, gang. I'm going to do that next video. It's going to be, I'm on fire. Three videos. Weekend full of videos. Why hit the club? I'm the club. Tuh, tuh. Holla. F the club. There's more lit over here. <laughs> Uh, we just need some. We just need some bad B words, and we straight. Some bad H words, and we. we uh, somebody go on Eros or. or.